Okay, hello. Hi, I'm Natalie, and this is our matchup night at So Hungry Hippie. Let me know how you're doing if you're here. Tonight, uh, we've had some really strange weather here in Wisconsin, and uh, so I've got my jean jacket on. Stray, this, strange? We had a hurricane. Um, we, no, no, not a hurricane, a no, tornado. A tornado, yesterday. sorry, yeah, tornado. So this is my jean jacket that I got at Thrift, and I embellished. And this is my other jean jacket that I embellished. And I have this digital course in my learning center. So if you go to SoHungryHippie.com and you search this, the courses, they're right there on the main page. You'll see this course where I show you how I do this. And I do it an easy way. Some people have other ways of doing it, but you know me. I want it, I want it easy. I want it simple. I want it fast. I want it efficient. So that's what I'm doing. Oh, awesome. Now I'm seeing people. Hello, hello. Oh, I also have on my Ethel pants and Alexander Henry. Ethel is a very roomy pant. We have both size options and I have a digital course for you. I think that was the first one I ever filmed. So uh, Ethel is super easy. Even if you've never made any garments before, if you get this pattern, don't really look at the directions. <laughs> They're very sparse. You can just follow me in the course and I'll walk you through it. The first one huh? you did was Stitch Happens. Oh, the first one, you're right. No, 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 because in the fall, I filmed Ethel, but we published Stitch Happens first. Uh, Remember, oh, like I, I was like, I need to redo Ethel. I need to, uh, it's not good. Yeah. And you're like, what does Gary V say? Just get it out there. Yeah. So yeah, that's what we do. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone. Okay, let me get a couple of business pieces out of the way for you. If Andy is here, Andy Orton, I have your olive corduroy. It just showed up tonight around 5 p.m. I brought it in for you, girl. So there it is. Okay, I bought the very last bolt of flannel in surf from Robert Kaufman. This is the last one. So if you want this, get it now because it's discontinued. Surf sold out really quickly for us. And I tried to get it, tried to get it, and then finally they called me and they're like, we found a bolt. Do you want it? And I said, yes. So here we are. That is our last bolt of that. I did just now restock um, a bunch, a few other colors. Aubergine I restocked. This one is called Lupine I restocked. And Lilac. If you saw my YouTube video where I did some pajama pants, where I sewed them, not the one Ramel did, I used this flannel, the lilac. It's such a pretty color. And now Ruby's wearing them all the time. Did I tell you, Ramel? No. She had them on last night, in fact. So you had to make another. I had to make another pair for me, I guess. Yeah. We're in that stage where my kids are stealing my clothes. I kind of love it. Um, happy Wednesday. Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I love it. Oh, are you near Laguana, Karen? Oh, you know, I watched that real estate show, Buying Beverly Hills or something. I swear I just watch it for the scenery. <laughs> I'm usually crocheting while I'm watching it, so it's not really that close, but I like the way it makes me feel seeing all that California. I don't know. Okay. Yes, Lupine is in. Yes. She lives in Laguana. Ah! That's awesome. Thank you, Debbie. Okay, um, one other thing of note, uh, Noor is in. Now that I was so excited about, that collection is the best. We are busy whacking it up into bundles for you, but we also have some layer cakes available and we'll, we will have some yardage available soon, as soon as I... They're both noir, or however you want to say it, N-O-I-R. Very modern, very, very cool prints. This one, the bundles that we have made, there's just one for sale right now, and it has a panel, and it has three other yards. Let me show you real quick. Very crisp, clean lines. I just absolutely love it. 
Here is this panel. Wow, that's pretty big. I know, you could just throw this up on your wall and it's an immediate decoration. And then we've put in three supporting yards of fabric in case you wanna do borders around it or for a backing or whatever else. Doesn't this one kind of remind you of Silence of the Lambs with the moth? Love it, love it. So very beautiful graphic, black, orange, and white for the most part. But to me, it doesn't scream Halloween, if you know what I mean. It's, it just screams cool. So, okay, there are, we have one bundle up for sale right now, plus the layer cake is up. We will get more bundles listed for you very soon, as well as yardage on the bolts. We have a lot of bolts to get through. Okay, <sighs> is anyone confused about what matchup night is? Speak now, forever hold your peace. Okay, well, it's basically where I take fabric and vinyl or fabric and cork and I mix them or match them and then we offer that to you in a bundle at a cost savings. And sometimes I throw in a zipper or hardware or straps or webbing or whatever else. So just listen up here and then the listings are down there. I see fabric and vinyl matchups 2024. This is week 16. So that's this week's matchups. We have a lot available for you tonight. Okay, I'm gonna get into it so you know exactly what these are. The first matchup is an Alexander Henry print. We do not have yardage for sale in the shop, so this is your chance to get it. It's going to be this Alexander Henry print, a full yard. It's a, it's a big print, so let me open it. It's got some pretty birds and flowers and fauna. And then you're getting a full piece of So Hungry Hippie soft vinyl. As always, this is 18 by 56. And you're getting two yards of matching purple webbing. Now you can use this all together or you can use it separately. The choice is yours, it's your life. All right. I put these together because I think they go nicely together, but you do you for sure. So there is that one. That's matchup one. I think we have a few of those left, right? Left right now. <laughs> okay, ready Ramel? Matchup number two. I think it's the yeah, this one is so pretty. Uh, so this one has uh, an art gallery print, a full yard, a full piece of Moonglow vinyl in navy blue, and a full yard of a supporting print. Let me show you overhead. Now it all looks really sharp and gorgeous together. This is blue. We've also had black in the matchup. But this week we've got the blue print. These are blue stripes here. Let me move some of this out of the way. If you have any questions, please put a question mark and I will get to you. Or Michelle might answer or Ramel can let me know. Okay, so there's that. If these matchups are sold out, do not give up. Um, I have more bolts in the back. And for many of them, I can restock them if I need to. And I always look at that on Thursday and Friday, and I'll restock what I can. So hit the notify me button. Hey, the fabric houses can do it for you. You can do it for them, right? Because I'll nice. try. You know, sometimes I have the hero print, but maybe the lining ran out. So for people that hit the notify me button, I'll just message you and be like, you know, I have the hero print and the vinyl and the whatever, but here's my lining that I'm choosing since I'm out of the original lining. Do you like it or not? I almost said capiche. <laughs> oh, they might still have the lining. 
or I might still have the lining. Yeah. I, I, I mean, it just depends. It yeah. just really depends. Okay, there are no Natalie's Choice this week, no mystery matchups this week. I just couldn't do it. I'm flying out Friday morning at 4 a.m. to go to Trilada, and I didn't want to put that pressure on my staff to try and get things together because I'm not going to have time between now and, now and then. So we'll, we'll do it again next week, okay? Gives me a nice little breather, you know, to have some amazing matchups for next week for you as mysteries. Okay, let's go to number three. Terry says she doesn't see a notify me button. It might be, oh, I see it. It's pink. No, it's not, it's not loading. Uh, oh, now. oh, it's not? It's having an issue when loading. At least you know, Terry, know. maybe, oh, I'm not talking to you. Maybe um, after the show is done, it'll load. Matchup one is out. Matchup one is out. At, at a, and it says notify me. Yeah. Okay, so um, just so you guys know, if anything is going wrong, just send me an email, help at sohungryhippie.com, and me or Michelle, we will, or Ramel, we will take care of you and, and get back to you if anything isn't working. But oh, what happened there, Ramel? trying to load the website. Oh dear. Okay, I, I can't look at that. That just gave me oh, worried. Okay, so on matchup three, you're getting two yards of fabric and a full piece of soft vinyl. Now on this one, I have two different linings. Here is one lining. They're both sheens, but for some of you, you'll get like this light, minty, I would say like a minty sea foam, a minty green. And then for the rest of the bundles, I chose this lovely kind of silvery white sheen. So that's kind of a mystery which one you'll get. <laughs> All right, and you'll get a full piece of sea foam. Both options work beautifully. Oops, you can't even see it. I need to scooch over. Yeah, I think it's really pretty. This one um, really caught my eye. You can't go wrong with a good blue. And this is from Liberty of London. It's called the London Parks Collection Battersea Botanical. So very gorge, very springy, summery, happy. I just love it. Okay, and the sheen, the Kona sheen has that shimmer and you can still wash and dry it, so don't be afraid to wash and dry it. It's just fine. I've done it many times. I always wash and dry on cooler temperatures. I never use high heat, just, you know, trying to be environmentally friendly. So there's that. Okay, the next bundle, number four. Oh, thank you, Maggie. That's so nice of you. Thank you. I'm getting to number four. Number four is three full yards of canvas material from Robert Kaufman. It's out. And it's sold out. Well, they, they know it's good when it's good, okay? So here are the three yards. I'll show you anyway. And it goes with a full piece of black smooth faux leather. That one's really pretty. It's, it's very pretty. Is that gold? Yes, it's oh. a metallic gold Ooh, in there. That's why. Wait, did I misspeak? This is from Moda, I apologize. I have so many fabrics coming in that I'm getting discombobulated. But all these were in a collection and I scooped them up all that I could. I might be able to restock. So again, hit the notify me if you want me to get this in again, I will do my best. You know I love to please y'all, it's what I live for, it's what I do. I, what? I kind of like that combo there. Do you? Yeah. I, I, would, I wouldn't have gotten it for you. Really? If you didn't have a shop. You would have gotten this for me? You would have bought it for me? Yeah. How nice of you. Yeah. You're such a sweet human <laughs> being. You are. Um, what did you get for me earlier in the week? Sometimes when this thing is buttoned, it's like bunching up wrong. 
Do you okay. ever get a jean jacket and you feel a little, um, I like the ones with stretch. This one has a little stretch. You know what? I'm... Sorry, 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 sorry. Did you just drop your mic? Yes, I did. I don't think it's going to last long. Can't take me anywhere, can you? Nope. I'm going to change out. This is the red. This, oh, and I put my tag inside. Do you all know I still have these tags? I almost never talk about them. This one is called I Was Made For You. Can you zoom in on that? Sure. Bring it down a little bit. Bring it down. So I have these in five and ten packs, and they're little tiny hearts, and it says I Was Made For You. Yeah. Okay. So there's that. Oh, no, I didn't see a question. What beginner garment do you recommend for lawn fabric? Like what pattern? Oh, I have so many, so many for you. I think you would love the Strata top. That's gorgeous in lawn. You wear like a slinky camisole or a tank top underneath it. It's meant to be big and loose. Um, let me show you. Where did I put that? I think I only have a couple, but I always restock this one. It's called the Strata. And you can do it at this length. She has in here, it's almost crop on tall people, but it's not a crop. It's perfect for me. I'm 5'3 three and 3 quarters. Um, or you can lengthen it. I've seen some of our taller customers come in and they look stunning. And they just lengthened it for their, co their comfort. So that would be a really good one. I also like a good pajama pant in a lawn. I sleep in pants. I feel more, most comfortable with me covered. So I sleep in pajama pants in the summer made of lawn. And I, that Anna pant, super simple. Um, I would say the Ethel pant is super simple if you get my digital course. <laughs> I don't want to tell you any different there. Um, I would also recommend, let's see. People are asking what lawn. Lawn is a lightweight cotton, like a quilting cotton, but super tight weave, so it's very, very lightweight and floaty. And I have lawn in a leopard right now, and I will be getting more lawn in. I'm always on the hunt for a good lawn. I'm going to be going to New York City to source some of my own, so stay tuned. But right now we have this Anna Maria lawn, and it's called Roar. It's from her vivacious line. You didn't tell me we're going to New York. You're not going. I'm going. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, you have to go. Um, let's see. So I have that lawn. Do I have any of the blue left? I think I have a three-yard cut somewhere of purr. Yeah. Yes. Purr. Yes, Carol. Purr is the blue one. I made a dress out of purr, the lawn. And I put it over top. I almost wore it today, but then I was kind of in a mood, so I didn't put on the dress. <laughs> you have to let me know when you come here. Oh, I will, Terry. Oh, how sweet. Okay, so that's number four. We're on to number five. I have more matchups for you. Gail, don't go anywhere. Uh-oh. I lost my pouch. I think I packed it for Trilada. So this matchup is a full piece of navy blue faux leather and two yards of fabric. One of my favorite grunge and one of my favorite art gallery prints. Look at this floral, you guys. It's stunning. And this grunge in peony. I know I've got stuff everywhere, don't I? So you get one yard, one yard, and one full piece of our vegan, ooh, this piece I'm going to have to take home or now. Good thing I saw that. This one has a little mark. Uh, this is very easy to sew. It's got a soft backing. You can iron it from this side, and this is a very deep navy blue. This is not black, in case that is reading funny on the camera. Okay. So there's that. Let me put this piece to the side. See this little mark right here? That would, that's very hard to see. Oh, yeah. But I've got a, we've got to pull a new piece for this one. Okay. 
The next matchup, I've had this one before, and I'm bringing it back because it sold out so fast. I had so many emails of people who were disappointed. So here it is again. You're getting a yard of a textural white. This has lots of texture in it. It's not basic. You're getting a full yard of this Riley Blake Shibori in um, hot pink and a full piece of cork. And remember, I made an easy zipper case with this matchup last time. I wish I had it here to show you. Looks like I don't unless it's back there. Do you almost say Chipotle? Chipotle. <laughs> this is hot pink Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> they were hungry. <laughs> I mean, it, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> Maybe we could do a Chipotle matchup. Yeah. Do you guys have Chipotle near you? We love it. I always get a burrito bowl. Um, no tomatoes, no hot peppers anymore, but no cheese. So I get guac, rice, black beans. Did I say guac? Yeah. Yeah, lettuce. you can say more guac. I get double guac. lettuce. What else do I get on it? That seems so, like, minimal. Yeah. That's but about it. But it's delish. Me under other. Jennifer loves it, too. Right? Oh, man, I could eat Chipotle. I could eat Chipotle and sushi probably every other day. <sighs> and salads. I love a good, mean salad. And I don't mean for, like, low calorie. I mean a salad loaded down with all the trimmings, you know? That thing is not going to be low calorie when I eat it. <laughs> it's going to have grilled <laughs> chicken and corn and beans and guac and all the things. Spices and beets and cut up apples, raisins, cranberries. Wow, and that's I'm getting... a loaded one. Huh? That's a loaded one. Mm -hmm. mm. Pistachios. What else am I going to put on it? Man, is that even a salad anymore? I know. It's a, it's, a, it's a salad meal. Okay. Donna loves Chipotle, too. Catherine's a huge fan of the bowls. I know. Aren't they so good? Ramel gets the burrito, and those things are just... I load that baby up. That thing is yeah, it's, wrapped. It's, it's big in. Yeah. Um, on this next matchup, I know you're going to think, okay, that's not typical Natalie, but actually it is. If you saw how I decorate my home and what I search on eBay, <laughs> this is so Natalie. Was it that one? No. Well, that was matchup. It's the next one. Ma we're, we're now on matchup seven. Oh, okay. So it's very shabby chic, which I have loved for how long? 20 years? Remember Rachel Ashwell back in the day? Yeah, and I had no idea what Shabby Chic Shabby was. Shabby Chic, I love it. So this fabric, I brought it in because it reminded me of Shabby Chic. It's pinks and creams, and it's got sweet little birds and flowers and butterflies and old-timey, um, what is it called, font? Look at this. Isn't that your favorite, China? Or what's it called? That is a Royal Albert China that I collect, and it's called American Beauty. That's great. Yeah, I remember yeah. American Beauty. So then I thought, well, it goes really well with this nice, soft, sagey floral. It's not a floral. It's a font. What do you call this? Fauna? An no, fauna is animals, isn't it? What is this called, y'all? Plants. Oh, <laughs> no. Botanical? Botanical. Yeah, I like that. And then you're also getting a full piece of the cork. Our cork has the micro suede backing. It is not going to split on you for your bag and pouch making. And it's got the Swarovski silver glitter in it. How pretty. Shabby chic fabric. I know, right, Kay? Kay, this is right up your alley. I feel like you and I, like, jive on that, you know? Kay had the best photo of herself with this dress that she made, and it was like all layered, and she had embellishments on it. She was so pretty, and I felt so honored when one of my staff members the next day was like, Kay, Kay looks like how you will look in a few years, you know, or something to that effect, and I was like, God, I hope so. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> 
a future Natalie. Maybe that's what she said. I said, I hope so. Ah, uh, love them all blushing. You should, Kay, you're darling. Okay, so there's that matchup. <sighs> Not that far, Kay. Time flies, doesn't it? Time flies when you're having fun. I can't believe that, like, on Facebook, all these movies and music from the 90s, and they're calling up oldies? What? <laughs> I can't believe 2004 was 20 years ago. That's weird. They're Isn't call, that weird? They're calling my, the, the, the grunge music I used to listen in the 90s, they call that classic now. Classic? Classic rock. Like oh why? No, no, gosh. it's not. No, that no is way. weird. I I really don't mind getting older, like aging, whatever. It's just a number. I don't care about that. But it's like a mind bend because you don't. It doesn't feel like twenty five or thirty years ago. It feels like maybe five years ago, maybe ten years ago. But when people say, "Oh, thirty years ago, nineteen ninety four," I'm like. Huh? <laughs> well, that, that, yeah, that does put uh, time flies when you're having fun spin. Now, on that note, is it time flies when you're having fun? How is flies spelled? F-L-Y-S? Because we're not talking about the insect. It's, it's flies with I-S. Chris Ann is saying flies like the insect. I'm sure we're going to have a few versions. Susan, somebody offered you a senior discount. If they, when they do that to me, well, I will be like, I'll, I'll take, take it. you outside right now. No, now I'll, I'll take, take the it. discount yes. and I'll take you outside. <laughs> Let's race. <laughs> um, they're bringing back the heavy gold jewelry from the 80s. Diane, are they really? I love it. I want to see it. Remember how big, like, the earrings were and the chunky necklaces? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Beverly, it's going to be listed. This I'm showing this tomorrow. This is brand new, and I'm giving you all the chance to get it in this matchup tonight as well. But, yes, it will be listed uh, individually. This is going to be a new moon glow color. We're calling it olive green. Maybe it's already up already. Maybe Vicki already did it. She might have. She's fast. Uh, let me take you overhead. This fabric is so fun. It's all these like bottle caps. So kind of vintagey, but super colorful. It made me really happy to see it. And uh, I just wanted to get it in for you. So this matchup is a full yard of the fabric, a full roll of this brand new color of Moon Glow vinyl, and you're getting a one inch light brown leather sewable strap. All of that. It's up already. Yay! Marilyn says it's up already. Thanks, Vicki. Yeah, awesome. Oh, I forgot to do my goals sheet today. For I got to go home and do my goals sheet. I love Wednesdays because even if I've had kind of a rough day like I have today, I feel happy because I'm here with you guys. And I wish I could see your faces and we could be a little bit more interactive, but for now, this is where we're at. And every comment means a lot to me, so keep them coming in. I always feel happy after ending this show because of you all. So thank you. Thank you for being here. I have another new Moon Glow tonight in a matchup for you. We're going to call this one Pewter. I think Dodie hit it on the head with that name for this. And I have matched it with Lil Bell from Art Gallery. And again, if this one runs out, I think we have enough to restock this week. So please, if you want one, just hit that notify me and I'll get on that. Is so, that a new Moon Glow? This is a brand new Moon Glow, and it's, this one is, um, what, do, what do we call it? It's like, it's not as matte as the olive. Oh my gosh, look at that. The olive green would go with Lil Bell too. Oh my gosh. So this one is shinier, it's more metallic, and it goes really well with this color in here. And we're giving you a pack of hardware um, silver, one inch as well. These have two lobsters, two D-rings, and an adjustable buckle. 
Let me scooch this over a bit. All of my Moon Glow vinyl, you can iron from the wrong side. You can interface if you want to. They're easy to sew on a domestic machine. You want to use a Microtex needle. We have them in the shop. A lot of times I'm too lazy and I just sew with my Universal and I'm fine. I used Guterman Sew All Thread, which we also have in the shop. And guess what, y'all? I have the exact color in a thousand spool roll that you need in stock and more on the way. Oof, that yep. is a matchup in heaven right there. Yeah, it is. Uh, so, yeah, so that's not in the matchup. <laughs> that's separate. But at least we have it for you. Um, I also like to have my mallet around, my nylon mallet, whenever I'm making a bag with vinyl, to whack those seams down. Any questions? Marilyn L. No, elephant is a different color. Let me show you elephant. Elephant is more, it has a green undertone, even though it's gray and it's matte. Let me take you overhead and I'll show you the difference. Very different. You see this? And it goes with a lot. It's almost like that mystery color taupe where you don't think when you get it, it's going to go with very much, but then it ends up going with everything. That's kind of how this elephant color is. So Pewter is shiny and more metallic and more slippery. And this uh, elephant is matte and a little duller, has a green undertone, even though it is gray. All right? You can tell when I put it with a fabric like this, I would never put it with this because it reads a little too green for this gray in here. So... Yeah, Marilyn will check it out Saturday. By the way, I need to mention, I won't be here Saturday. It'll be Vicki and Ramel. Be nice to us. So <laughs> be patient with them. And if you don't have to come in Saturday, then maybe don't, since they're going to be you know, down to bare bones on Saturday. But if you're a regular and you're okay with waiting, Please come in. Just know it might take a little bit because I, I shall not be here. I shall be in Denver, okay? Teaching people. Let's see, what is Saturday? I think it's close. <laughs> they will be fine. I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, they will be. Please, yes, they will be. Maybe if they need you, they'll put you to work, Marilyn. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Grige. Oh, I like that, Catherine. Which goes better with a navy flowers matchup? What was that question? I missed the last end of it. I have one more to show you. And then let me go back to that question. Which one can you show us? It was you? up just a little bit. I don't know. They're cycling for me. So it was, yeah, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. Oh, somebody bought the elephant. They thought it was the pewter. If you need to change that, send me an email and we can exchange. Can No, down, down, down. Can you show us what thread goes with what vinyl someday? Yes, Donna. Great. I need to do that. Thank you. I think you're going too fast, hon. No, those are the questions that are. I don't think Pewter is online yet. Is it not, Jen? Jennifer? Mm. I will get that online. I'll take a picture and get that online tonight. I have this beautiful eggshell color. Can I show you guys? I should show you tomorrow. But I'm going to show you right now. It's not a Just stark leave, white. Leave some mystery for tomorrow. It's a creamy. I have so much in, though. Right yeah, now. I know. We dig we it a lot. Um, so this is like the perfect eggshell ivory. It's so beautiful. I can't wait to make a bag in this. I don't know about you guys, but I love a cream bag with brown accents. I think it's so classy looking. So I'm going to use this with, where's the cognac light? It's somewhere around here. Here it is. I'm going to do something with this combo together. And they work because they're both warm toned. 
So that looks yeah, that's nice coming up. with some uh, maybe. Um, it's not listed light yet. Brown. What light brown? Light brown sta straps. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. See. Yeah. I got an eye You're too. You're getting there. Good <laughs> job. <laughs> Um, eggshell, Donna, I'll get eggshell listed tonight. I did take a picture today, so I just have to put it up there. Vicky, Vicky's here. Vicky, um, did I, did I text? No, I didn't text you that. Yeah, maybe you could, no, I'll do it. I'll do it. We have so much to list for you guys. I cannot wait to show you all the things tomorrow. So, okay, so back to my story. On that note, that's why tomorrow I'm going live at 11 because Friday I'll be on the airplane. So I'll miss the Friday live, but I'm going to do it tomorrow. It's okay. We literally got these boxes like in the past two days. I know. We got 102 so far. Yeah. In the last two days, my FedEx guy, poor thing, was dripping sweat. I'm out there hauling things. Ramella's hauling things. Vicky's hauling things. We got doors open. We got so much happening. We've had to vacuum 48 times. It's just like crazy here. But I, I'm really excited. I have some waterproof canvas in. I'll show you tomorrow. It's pretty. Okay, last matchup. This one is a Alexander Henry print. I got this because my mom, she loves all sorts of Asian themed prints. And this was in the, the one Jap Japanese line. What was this called? It's from Alexander Henry. Kimono. Mm -hmm. This is called Kimono. And you get a full yard. I don't have any excess fabric. So... This is, you can only get this in the matchup. I have kimono and I have a yard of the grunge that matches it perfectly. You know I do cross collection all the time. And you get a full roll of blue moon glow, which I think we're almost out of now. And it'll be at least eight weeks before I get that back in. So there's that matchup. So beautiful. I love this print. So when you come in on Saturday, we can take a look at new Moonglow and fabric. <laughs> yes, Barbie, we have some waterproof canvas, and I can't wait to share you guys. So I did get some solids, and I got some heathered colors, and then I also have prints that I designed. I haven't seen those arrive yet, the ones that I designed, but they're on the way. And I still have many boxes to open tonight. Last night, sirens were going off, and we all had to go in the basement and all that. So I didn't get as much opened as I wanted to. Huh? Don't, let's not talk about that. It's so sad. So, well, okay, let's. So today I had to abruptly leave the store and go cuddle my daughter because she's just like me. She's very um, intuitive and feely. And they were cutting down these huge trees on our street in the name of progress and putting in a sidewalk and new sewer lines and all kinds of stuff. And she was just bawling. And so, of course, I'm like, I totally understand because it immediately put me in a bad mood when I saw they were doing that. And we had to, like, say some prayers for the trees and nature. And I said, we're going to go buy some trees and plant them in the front regardless of what dad says. <laughs> we got room in the back. We don't, though, because all those walnut trees in the back, they don't. I've planted two willows and two um, firebush maples or whatever, and they none of them can live because of those walnut trees. They choke them out. Hmm. So we got we to gotta build a forest in the front yard. Because that was depressing today, seeing all that. It was, it was. Very depressing. You know, it, it like hurts your heart. Yeah. And then you wonder, where do the birds go? And now our house is going to practically burn up this summer. We already don't have AC. Now we're going to have the sun blaring down on us. Think about that. That oak tree sheltered us a yeah. lot. Yeah. So it's, it's just like... Ah, I know it's not the worker's fault, but it makes me so mad. <sighs> oh well, we gotta we gotta think happy thoughts. 
Yes, it is heartbreaking, isn't it, Elizabeth? It's like even my neighbors were out and we were all just staring. Like we, we didn't even have words, you know. And um, Tom and Shirley were out and John and Terry were out. I know Bob would have been out if he had been home. He was out. Was he out? Yeah. And uh, it's just like you're speechless. These trees have been around over 100 years. So, <sighs> anywho, we're going to go home and do happy things, right? Yes. So, I have got, what can I tease you with for tomorrow? I think you have shown enough to oh, use. I, tonight, before I came back to the store, I had a bunch of boxes come in from Robert Kaufman. So we will have a ton of Brussels washer linen for you tomorrow, including blush, denim, mist, olive, indigo navy, black, um, natural color, white color, this one is a brand new color from them. It's called Eucalyptus. I mean, I got them all. Are you dancing? Was I dancing? Yeah, it looked like you were dancing. <laughs> I don't know if we call that dancing. But we will have a ton of that to show you tomorrow. The rayons are going fast. So if you want any rayon, get those soonish. Because... Uh, there, I think we're down to, we're down to one bolt of the leopard. We've got two bolts of the black with stripe. One bolt left of the ocean zebra. Looks like two bolts of the ocean, which I just cut and washed for me yesterday. I'm going to make a garment with that one. That's this one. Let me show you this one. It's so abstract and pretty. You know, it reminds me of the Great Wave of Kanagawa, that painting. Yeah, I was going to say that. Looks like it. You are going to say that? Well, I don't remember a name, but I remember it looked like that. Yeah. So, okay, I, I, will, I think that's it. I talked way longer than I thought I would. So let's meet tomorrow if you can. And if not, the, mat, the replay is always up, so don't worry. And then I will be flying home Monday, and I will have all new matchups for you next week, including lots of Natalie's Choice. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to do this. By the way, hippie buses, zipper pulls are restocked, and I could only get 30 packs. So if you want one, go get them now. Barbie from Riley Blake is restocked. I got what I could. So go get it now if you are waiting on that. All right. Thank you all. Trilada Barbie is my friend in Denver, Teresa. She owns a shop called Trilada in Denver, trilada.com. I will be doing a matchup session with her on Saturday night. Her shop is amazing. It's huge. I'm going to go live from there and walk you around. She's such a nice person, such a good person wonderful human being. So if you all can buy from her, please do. She's an amazing person. So I'm going to teach classes out there this weekend. I'm really excited. I love her. I love seeing her and I can't wait to meet her staff and walk around her shop because I've never been in there. Um, and then Monday I'll be flying home. Okay. So I will see you next. Well, I'll see you tomorrow and then I'll see you I do have a tutorial lined up for Sunday, and then I'll see you next week like normal. Blah! Can't talk. All right. Peace, love, sewing. Have a great night. Love you.